John Martinez from John Sporting Goods, and this is my good friend uh, Gary Crane from All Star Charters. And we're going to go fishing today on Puget Sound for winter kings or blackmouth, or a lot of people like to just call them Chinook. Gary, what's your favorite thing you've been catching? I know, I know you've been doing really good the last few days. Well, uh, these Tomic plugs uh, in uh, five inch, 603 and 602 Tomic plugs has been our premier lure. Now, how are, how are you fishing? Are you fishing fairly close to the bottom? Fishing within 20 feet of the bottom in uh, 90 to 150 feet of water and staying close to bottom in the bait. Now, I think the number one rule that I think that both you and I can agree on is you have to stay close to the bottom. If you're not close to the bottom, you're not going to catch fish. Not for these winter kings, no. It's, you need to stay within that bottom 20 feet. Now, when the bait's a little bit smaller, you can go to uh, a flasher and a red racer spoon. This is a Gibbs uh, flasher. It's a red racer type flasher with a UV finish right here. And then I have a red racer spoon here by Gold Star. And it's the same thing again. You have to fish close to the bottom. And we'll show you some techniques on how to use these uh, spoons and flashers and plugs here in just a few minutes. I'm going to be letting this uh, 603 Tomic out and as you can see I have it tied right to the end of my line. I don't have any swivels on it or anything. I got a 5 aught stainless steel must add hook on it. It's barbless for fish and Puget Sound and these are probably the simplest things to use. I'm going to let it out 25 to 30 feet. We're probably trolling about two miles an hour and that's just perfect for plugs. You can fish plugs and flashers at the same speed. I'm going to grab the line. I'm using a heavy tension downrigger release so that I can fish the bottom in 120 feet of water and I don't have to worry about the release coming loose. We're up to trolling speed right now. I'm going to let this out. It's literally going to hit the bottom. I'm going to stop and bring it back a couple feet and start trolling at my desired speed. The depth we're going to troll is going to be 90 to 120 feet. Sometimes we'll be going a little bit deeper. Sometimes if you let out too much line, you want to grab the line and reclaim some of this line so that if you get a, a fish on, a legal size Chinook, or you get what's called a shaker, a sub-legal Chinook, you can tell, it can telegraph on that rod so that you can see the rod balancing a little bit and you can reel the fish in. Now when you're letting out flashers, you want your spoon to be 42 inches from the flasher for Chinook. So what we're going to do is, for a, this is a really fine point in Chinook fishing that makes you a really effective fisherman. It's extremely important that you let this flasher out exactly the same length that, that you let the plug out. When the fish come up to the flasher or the plug, you want to give them a choice. You want to be able to look left and right. You don't want one out and back of the other one so that they look at one and if they don't like it they don't have a choice to go over to the other plug or flasher. So it's extremely important these things are exactly the same length. We're going to snap this into this heavy tension release. I put the line about three quarters of the way into the release. And the flasher's going to go out to the bottom in 90 to 120 feet of water, exactly the same as the plug. You're going to be fishing these side by side on the bottom. It's extremely important that both pieces of gear are within five feet of the bottom. Gary, this is a pretty good day of fishing. We only were on the water for about four hours. We caught some of these on plugs. We caught some on flashers and spoons. We even caught one on a flasher and herring. I know. Nice uh, black mouth. Nice winter king fishing. Very nice. Now, you expect this to last most of the winter? I would expect this to last at least through November and into some into December and January, yes. Now, will you continue to use this plug the whole season or will you switch around a little bit? Well, we'll use the plug as long as there's lots of bait around. I like the plugs where there's bait and I like the uh, spoons and flashers and herring and other things when there isn't much bait. Now I think it's really important to go to those plugs when they're sublegal fish. People call them shakers, uh, chinook that are under 22 inches where you have to let them go. That's where those plugs really come in, so you get some fishing done. Well, exactly, because if you have a shaker on, the minute you put it down, obviously you're not fishing. So every minute that your line is coming up out of the water and not targeting 
fish of legal size, you're spending wasting time. So you want to keep something down there that increase your odds of catching a bigger fish. Now this was a pretty good day of fishing. We've had some good fishing together this year, Gary, and uh, I hope we hope we can get out again this season and exactly, do this. Exactly, very good. The top flasher is a Gibbs UV Red Racer flasher, and it's rigged with a Kingfisher three and a half inch Gold Star spoon rigged with 30 pound test fluorocarbon leader, and the leader is 42 inches long. The bottom flasher is a Gibbs Purple Haze Flasher. It's rigged with a herring with a 60 inch, 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, and it's the herring is rigged with a clear Rice Davis anchovy head, and it's rigged with two 3 aught black Gamakatsu hooks. The top plug is a 5 inch, 603 Tomic plug. It's rigged with a 5 aught Mustad stainless steel hook. The next plug from the top is a Tomic 602 5 inch plug rigged with a 5 aught stainless steel hook. The bottom plug is a 4 inch Tomic plug 603 rigged with a 3 aught hook.